are in the creative production program. And that means we're going to be doing some creative production. We're going to be producing a short film. A short film. A short film? That's right, a short film. Um, but we are going to be producing a specific kind of short film. It's going to be a stop motion short film. Does anybody here know what a stop motion film is? Oh yeah. So the stop motion is like when you just have a mo stop motion and you just like take a picture of every clip they just do. Nice. Exactly. Cool. So the stop motion film that we're going to make, well we don't have an idea yet. We don't know what we're going to actually make. So I want to do two things. First we're going to look at examples of stop motion so that we can get some ideas and be inspired. <laughs> then we're going to create a storyboard for what we want, what we think it should look like. After we've done the storyboard, we're actually going to get right into <coughs> creating. Okay, and you're going to have two options. One is going to be using plaster scene and Play Doh to actually make things. All right. We also have. Uh, construction paper and regular paper. We also have, well, I don't know what else we have, but we can get a little bit creative and try to use, maybe I have something put in my bag, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Um, to create things. Then we're also going to use Photoshop, and I think that's going to be Max's awesome job. Um, but we're going to also use Photoshop, so we're going to make some digital art, and we're going to take some real pictures of the plaster scene and Play-Doh models that we're going to be making and make this short film. We also have the option of turning this short film and submitting it into a contest. The City of Toronto is having a film contest, a short film contest. And when we started this program, the idea was, let's come together and make something awesome that we can submit to this contest. And I think we still have a chance of doing that. But it requires a lot of hard work. It requires a lot of determination from you guys. A lot of teamwork from you guys. Yes. And if you're down, if you're ready to put your heart and soul into creating this production. I'm not. We're still I am definitely not. I do not like my Nathan. I, I like how it looks, but I just can't do it myself. Okay, that's okay, because I think that you are going to be doing the digital art backgrounds. Yeah, I think that's more my, my approach. Perfect. So, does anybody know of an example of stop motion? Devante? Yeah? Example of stop motion. Example of stop motion? Yeah, give me an example. Okay. Like something that you've seen. You see, robot chicken. Robot chicken. Yeah. Awesome. What I haven't else? seen it Gumby. in a long time. Gumby. Yep. What else? What's another example? Rehan, do you know any examples of stop motion? Chicken one? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's a great one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Max, what are some of the stop motion you don't like? I, I don't Mark, Ray Hans like Hans some of them. I guess it's like all the time they make them. Oh. <laughs> I, I really do like how they make everything what? ever. Uh, I like uh, box trolls. Uh, box trolls. Um, uh, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Like yeah, box trolls has actually a lot of stop motion. Oh yeah, and, and oh, remember that big robot? <laughs> oh, 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 that took a lot of work. What's the claymation with the autistic man and the little girl who exchange letters? I I heard that. I don't remember what it is. Yeah, what's it called? I think it's Sam. Sam and. Salmon something. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about, Mark? Salmon Bob. Um, I think it's Salmon Bob. Which movie you were talking about? Um, it's a claymation Denied. about an autistic man oh, who get right in, writes letters um, with this little girl who right becomes Katie Pen Pals. Oh, it sounds beautiful. Uh, it's on Netflix. I don't remember the name of it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, there's a movie called Frank and Bean. You can also do something. You can also do Google search for me. Uh, there's another movie. It's not as hands-on though. Heard of it? Frank and Weenie? No, I haven't seen it. Oh, it's 
really good. Yeah. There's like um, this uh, lightning zaps thing, um, dead animals, and become giant things. Like there's this turtle that gets zapped and becomes as big as Gamera. And the sea monkeys get zapped and they turn into uh, something that's the equivalent of What was of the name of that? Oh, stuff. They have a lot of references. Sam and something. I don't, I don't know what it was. I think if you just, even if you type in like movie about autistic man writing letters, it might show up. There's not that many. I'm trying yeah. to select the edges. Trying to suck the edges? Yeah, I'm trying to... Oh, yeah, Sarah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, oh, I love that, that movie. That, that's the movie yeah. I put on when I want to cry. Because I'm like that. Yes, if you, like, if you don't know how to cry about a dead relative, Sam? watch I Am Sam. It is a tearjerker. Yeah. It's not pure form. It's a sad movie. Shauna, are there any stop motion films made about Minecraft? Minecraft? I doubt it. No? Oh. I don't. Is this movie you're talking about? Mary yes, Mary and Max. Oh, that looks sad. Mary oh, it Max. is sad. It is very, very sad. You know what? It is sad, but it is beautiful. And this was, you know, this is a, if you guys haven't seen this, maybe. If I've you're, seen the trailer and I, I think that I. I've had enough sadness for all my life, thank you. It was really sad. It's actually really happy, too. Yes, it's... Um, it's happy in a sad way, but both. you're still going to cry. And it has a lot to do with, you know, sharing experience and sharing stories about what it means to be autistic and what it means to be... Now, this man, Max... Not this Max. This Max. This Max is much older and got a much bigger nose. Yeah, it looks more like a goblin. Is that an apple on his head? It's his hat. Fez. Yeah. Everyone knows what Fez is. I thought it looks like an apple. Product of apple. (laughs) (laughs) Apple Um, And Max has a lot of challenges. I doubt he had a typewriter if they had double typewriter if it's an apple. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, Max has a lot of challenges. Living in New York. Has anybody here ever been to New York? Oh, I have, and I don't want to ever go there again. Thank you. Why? It's New cold York. for one. It's oh, noisy. No. It, I mean, you can find a nice, you can find a nice bagel house every year there, but it's just too much. Mm. All overall, a good Jewish bagel. A good bagel house, but but honestly, it gets cold in winters. What? I don't know why they make jokes about Canada being cold. Have you been, have you been to New York in winter? <laughs> no, I have not. Because it's not, it's not as nice as Canada. Let me tell you. Um, Devante. Yeah. Have you been to New York? No. Where Maybe been, wait, I where think. Have you been I don't. States? I don't remember. Why is Maybe you said I think. Broken? I've been to New York when I was little. Little. Yeah. Been to the states. So the this fellow Max um, has a lot of challenges living in New York because there's a lot of people oh, in yeah. New York, um, and nobody really understands him. So he really feels like he doesn't belong. And he makes a connection with this pen pal by writing back and forth about their experiences because she has similar feelings. Uh, and it's a really great story about friendship, even though it is. It's making me sad. Oh, it is. You gotta watch it. It's sad. It's Maybe sad. A different one. But you know what? Life is often full of ups and downs. Uh, could Sadness you, uh, and happiness. If you look on IMDb for. Uh, okay, Yes. Pull up, can you pull up Frank and Weenie for me, please? Frank and Weenie? Um, it's just stuff working. Can you get, like, why don't you have the same thing on? Well, it's because somebody was doing a batch render. Remember, remember, we should close it. Okay, there we go, Frank and Weenie. But it was on YouTube, but you're good to call him up. I don't see how it works. I'm just gonna look at it. I like it. Okay, so. It's a really good movie. Frank and Winnie. <laughs> awesome. Young Victor conducts a science experiment to bring his beloved dog Sparky back to life, only to face an unintended, sometimes monstrous consequences. I think that's what that word says. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you want. Um, it's a basically a bunch of. A reference and his teacher looks like Vincent Price, by the way. <laughs> nice. All right, so we yeah, have it has, a lot, it has a lot of references to horror. So we have a, a young. Yeah. Where's horror. all this music coming from? Oh, let's let's get, let's watch get. without the headphones being in. Um, and maybe can you turn it down too, please? It's distracting. I know. Devontae. Yeah. Turn it down. Turn it down.